So be careful. Be careful so that you don't put yourself in a lonely spot when you are old and you can no longer move. Does an adopted mm -hmm. child yes. have a different right mm -hmm. from a direct offspring? An adopted child has equal rights with your biological children. Welcome to this episode on Share with Noble. Today we have an interesting topic that we want you to listen to. At the end, you're going to share your honest opinion. Uh, you're going to share and don't forget to subscribe also. Today we have an interesting topic uh, that was sent to us from a young man of 25 years. He has two siblings. Uh, one is uh, 20 years, the other one is 18 years. Both are girls. The challenge is simple. The father adopted a young man before he gave birth to these uh, children of his. The young man that was adopted is 30 years old. And he's been part of the family all these years. He handles the man's business. He does everything. He's just part of the family, like a brother to this young man and a brother to the sisters. But recently, the man fell ill, critically ill, and he's bedridden. He can't manage any of his business, and he's managed by this young man, the adopted son. So the one that wrote us 25 years old said he's under serious pressure from his mother and his two siblings to take over the father's business from the adopted son. According to him, the mother and siblings say that guy is not their blood, that the adopted son is not their blood that he should take over the father's business from the adopted son. So the young man is at the crossroad. He doesn't want to confront the adopted son. Neither does he want to disobey uh, his mother and his two siblings. So he's asking us, what should he do? What can he do? How can he resolve this challenge? So we need to talk about this. I have uh, here with me, guest with me, uh, my right, I have Mrs. Victoria Chukura. Mrs. Victoria, welcome. Thank you. And on my left, I have uh, Comrade Augustine Omilu. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 I like that comrade. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, when we come back, they will share their thoughts on this uh, little challenge we are having and how we can advise this young man. Okay, you're welcome. Mrs. Victoria, let's start with you. What will you advise this young man? Yeah. He's 25 years, yes, right? Yes. He's still very, very young. He needs to learn the nitty gritty of business. If actually he wants to take over. Because business is not something you just jump into. And uh, for the mother to start to breed such thing in his mind, is it's not just fair it's not just fair the mother should concern and say with how they will if they are still in school or if they will go further to learn the art of uh, or, or let them grow and be mature too you know for her to just start to whip up this kind of sentiment in the mind of this young man it's not just right this young man has been with them from time in short they, they grow up to to see him as their elder brother, elder brother. Yeah. And he must have played a vital role in their individual lives, you know, for them to accept him as one of them. Like that, the guy must have put in so much. No wonder the, the, the father now said, okay, take over this business for me. Or you are seeing the ability of this man. The mother that is sweeping all this sentiment, does his son, this young man that is writing us now, does, does he have the ability to take over to run this business the way this young man has been running it and then does this young man writing us now does he knows the nature the kind of business they do so he needs to learn he needs to go closer to in as much as he has said it himself that he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hurt the young man and he doesn't want to hurt the mother. He's in between the two of them. So he should let the mother know that 
whatever the mother is asking him to do, he cannot do it. He cannot just do it because it will cause the whole fight. And at the end of the day, even they may end up not getting any information that will even enable them to take over the business from the young man. It's okay, thank so you very much. That um, is it. Uh, comrade, yes. do you have a contrary mm -hmm. opinion? Uh, well, from the story you just painted, yes. I want to believe that this uh, young man or this family must be African family. Yes. Mm. You know, they don't bother. Not about, just African, they are Nigerians. Mm. Nigerians. Mm. Not just Nigerians, they are yeah, from the Southeast. Okay. okay. Mm. So these people mm. don't even bother about mm. businesses. Mm -mm surviving beyond mm. the lifespan of the founder mm. you know because if you do that you can you have seen situations where the guest is no longer in charge of uh, uh, microsoft, microsoft mm. yes. other persons are managing the people these people bought shares they were not there when the guest and his friend were founding the business mm. the most important thing is how has this boy been managing this business mm. has he been managing it well because if you have been managing it well ensuring that the money comes the company is making profit and the profit is shared and they reflecting in the management of the home. Mm. There's no point being in a hurry to hand over the business to the son. So for me, it's that 25 year old son is mm. now at the center. Mm. So he's the one that is actually at the cross of that. And I want to congratulate him because yes. uh, he's not in a hurry mm. to just um, work according to the details of the mother. Mm. Yes, because this young man, the 30 year, 30 year old boy, has been mm. managing this business. Mm. And all of you grew up to see him as your elder brother. Now, for me, the boy should call his brothers or sisters mm -hmm. and the mother to a meeting. Yes, mommy, I, I like to take over this business from this young man. But what is our problem? Mm -hmm. Find out from your mother why he wants so. If the uh, reason for uh, taking over the business is because maybe the boy is not bringing enough money to the family. For example, you can say, okay, mommy, in that case, after this meeting, we are going to call another meeting between us and the mm -hmm. boy, our brother now. Let us agree on who and who should be signatories to the account mm. of our business. Let us also agree on how we can constitute maybe something like a board, if there was no board before, where I can be a member, my other brother can be a member also. If possible, you can be a member also, my mother, you know. So if all of you are members of the, the board of the management, of management team now, the place, each time there, was, there is going to be any uh, meetings, you will appear. So everybody will be contributing. Mm. But the most important thing is, how to ensure that this business goes beyond the lifespan of this man now that is bedridden, not just to remove the man. If the boy, if the mother now agrees with him, all of them can be understanding the man. This young man, 25 year old now, can be marketing manager, the other one can be, you know, whatever it is, all of them being part of the business with a with the view to understanding the, the business so much that uh, at a point, the boy, the manager now can become the chairman. Well, so it can continue to be a going concern. It's okay. Thank you so much, uh, comrade. Um, Mrs. Chukura, let me come back to you. You know, when you were talking, you talked about the woman wiping off sentiment. I think it's normal for most uh, women, I use the word most, not mm -hmm. all. You see, when it is not their child, their direct child, mm -hmm. you know, they adopted this orphan. Mm -hmm. The lady, that's a woman, and the husband adopted this orphan. Okay. But because she now gave birth to her own, okay. she has you understand why do you think most women do that okay i want to say that uh, it's because wealth is involved that's why this is like that if you, you find if you look at situations like that you find out that there's something that uh, interest is building on that is why the the feeling of no no let me come in while you were talking you talked mm -hmm. about the woman the woman or the mother wiping such mm, sentiment yeah. so my question is this is normal for most women in this mm. part of the world you understand when it is not their direct child you remember it is that the woman and the mm. husband adopted mm. this orphan yes. and trained this orphan mm -hmm. as their own yes so but because they now have their own son mm. she now she's not trying to differentiate why yes, is it yeah. why is it common amongst women when it's not their blood. Mm, it's a feeling of insecurity. Feeling insecure. Feeling not too safe with that that child that you brought in with love. You know, at that time. You know. Now that you have your own and you want you are feeling that ah, this child may go up to take the place of mine, to take what belongs to my son. That feeling of insecurity is what is bringing up all these things. Otherwise, a child that you both of you agree mm -hmm. to bring into the house is equally your your child. 
even though you are not the one that gave birth to her, but your consent, you gave a consent day that this child will, and you even contributed to nurturing this child too. You contributed to his growth. And what has gone wrong now? What has gone wrong because of wealth? You see, so women should learn to take their 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 uh, is it stepson now start children <laughs> is adopted child is it, uh, is it, child. it's her son you see yeah. the one adopted her has qualified the child mm. to be her own mm. it's her child so she should women should learn not to segregate they should let all of them grow up together share love equally among all the children it's okay thank you very much uh, i'll go Miller. let me come back to yeah. you let me ask that question like this <laughs> does it mean that adopted an adopted child does not have the same right as the direct offspring mm. of a parent <laughs> yeah you see uh, all of this is mm -hmm. see boy down to the same. african mentality mm. because uh, that boy now being in that house mm. honestly speaking he may be god sent to mm. because uh, this woman that is existing at the same block well, i don't know what what do you what do you understand by blood relation mm. or blood uh, child blood, what you want is the progress of mm. not just your family mm. but the progress of the society mm. because this business if it is run properly over time you will not have a situation where you have members of your family who are not employed in the mm. society because they, they just just like any other let me let me take you back to my question <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> does an adopted <laughs> child yes. have a different right mm. from a direct offspring it doesn't mm. it doesn't the right is mm. the same thing because mm. this child came in at a time when you didn't have somebody but, like that but you, know, you, said, you said they do have the same right yes but you know most times we have that challenge yes. for adopted uh sons or adopted mm -hmm. child we tend to yeah yes. we tend to we tend to think they are not they don't have the same right yes. mm -hmm. you understand yes. so why do you think we have that perception that mentality yes the mentality develops as a result of the african mentality also because if you have there are some children now that you bring into the house now, uh, at the fullness of time, it begins to now gather the mm. show, show as if he's uh, mm. of the house now, mm. forgetting his or her own background too. When you give him money to do something, he will first of all pay part of the money sent to her parents or his mm. parents, yes. you know, who ordinarily, yes, you can give them money, but it's not as if he's supposed to be stealing money from where you are. So, first of all, the allegiance of an African, you know, somebody who is feeding you, you begin to steal from there. So, it's because of that suspicion, and that suspicion is as a result of Af African mentality. If the suspicion is not there, the boy is absolutely loyal to you as a family. If the boy has to do anything outside that family to any other person, it doesn't matter. That young boy, the young man of 25, you call him as a younger brother. Bro, mm -hmm. come on. See, that my, you know, that my uncle. So I don't know him. He will introduce. He needs like a 5,000 for him, for me. I don't know what to do. Can I give him? You know, because you're your brother, you discuss. So if there's that mutual understanding that all of you are working and you're on the same page, that woman will not be suspecting also. I think they are working there on the same page. Mm. That's why the young man is finding it difficult mm. to talk to. Mm. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I think uh, they, they are working. Mm. So, so what do you think? You think is the, the woman is a problem? Yeah. Or had to, yes. Yes. like Mrs. Yes. Victoria said, yes. wiping out such sentiment, yes. trying to create division. Mm. Yes. Among them. So the woman is the issue. I won't call it a problem mm. because it's hard to be do to understand them. Mm. So with the young, the, the son now, the 25 year old boy now, calling them for a meeting now to explain some of all these things we are saying now may change her mental attitude it's okay thank you very much um uh, mrs chukura do you mm. have anything to tell us you yeah. summarize when you summarize you mm -hmm. still need to talk to uh, women out there yeah. you know that they're like what Emil was trying to add mm. we have that challenge some people think the adopted child or adopted son mm. is a slave is a house help mm. you understand we don't understand that adoption we don't understand mm. what it means even when we sign the documents that we're mm. taking this person as our child, mm. we still don't understand. So when you give mm. us our advice, you just wrap it up. Okay. Fellow women, I want to let us know that an adopted child has equal rights with your biological children. And they have come into the house, just like your government said, angels. Angels. Don't look down on them because they were, they were a stepping stone for you to even climb. To balance your marriage and to give your marriage meaning because a marriage after two three years people begin to look at and when there's nothing there you have your problem but with this child there's this warmth that comes into your home please don't look down on them take them as your own let them grow with your children you don't know too they may be the they may be the ladder that your own children too will use to to climb 
And as you do that, nurturing them, grooming them, sharing love, making them to understand they are of one family, there will not be division. And you'll be better for it. This one giving you love at your old age. This one giving you love at your old age. Instead of you at your old age, you begin to you begin to uh, uh, see children fighting one another, killing each other because of this simple sentiment that you drop into their hearts. Please let's stop that attitude. It's very very bad. Let them go together in love. Show them love. And uh, for the business purposes, know that. You too, as a woman, you have a role to play in the growth of your husband's business. So that as soon as you get involved, the earlier you get involved in that business, the better for you. So you will begin to learn to, with the children, the nitty gritty of the business. And to desire the growth of the business. By the time you get involved, you will now begin to, maybe with your idea too, you will now begin to see new ways of expansion, new method of doing things. Then you also borrow from their own knowledge. Let all of you come together and make family grow better and sweeter. And your business will be better for it. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much for that advice. Uh, uh, Comrade Omido, you're going to advise us taking into cognizance what I said, the adoption, the rights of the, right of the offspring, and then, like uh, Miss, Miss Victoria added, the woman, advising the woman to get involved in the husband's business. Because if she had gotten involved on time, we won't be talking about uh, this situation now. And also, uh, we still have this uh, challenge where uh, a man, maybe a man that has more than one wife, uh, some of the wives tend to um, feel this threatened by the children of the other one, you understand? So you could your summary will just look at all this and uh, advise our audience out there. You see, in the world, nobody can threaten anybody. You know, I was asking somebody, I think yesterday, I said, how much is the circulation in the world? He said about 40 trillion. I agree, but I said that is because you did not take into cognizance the fact that Nigerian currency is not competent because there is no stable uh, value attached to Nigerian currency. Mm -hmm. And now, if you have to have the currency in circulation, you have the landmass in, in the world, everybody has a portion. Mm -hmm. Now, that portion of land, that amount of money that is supposed to be for you, it is left for you to appropriately grab your own. And how are you going to grab your own with information available? It's not by fighting anybody. Mm -hmm. If you work with your family members, including your children, if you teach them the way to go, and they know by education and all that, there's no need for you to struggle with the slave, or if you call it slave, mm -hmm. or you call it the... Mm -hmm. so at the fullness of time, all of them will go to appropriately appropriate whatever belongs to them as created by the Almighty. So you don't have to fight anybody. So for me, if you're a mother, you're a father, looking down upon somebody who is in your heart because mm. it's a slave mm. you are causing problem for the mm. society because mm. every child is your child that is the submission of a chris or your kid of a let me also add this uh, little <laughs> we should remember that we as parents we are going old you will choose whether you want to be an old um lonely old woman because the children will grow up to see that you were the cause of their di division. Mm. So be careful. Be careful so that you don't put yourself in a lonely spot when you are old and you can no longer move. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for mm. that addition. Um, uh, my young man that wrote us, you've listened to a uh, word of experience shared from uh, Mrs. Victoria and uh, comrade uh, Augustine Pomilo. It's not left for you to uh, put those into practice. You understand, and also those of us out there remember an adopted child has the same equal right as a direct offspring. This woman now is fighting because she now has her own. Mm -hmm. When she adopted this young boy, this orphan, she never had any, but now mm -hmm. she can now fight. Mm -hmm. But let's get this straight once the child is adopted, the papers are complete, everything the right that child has equal rights. And those of us out there, let's who shy away from this division will try to create a crit in most of our families. It's not going to help us. Like mm. Mrs. Victoria added, do you want to be old and lonely? Mm. Or you want to be old and have your children, children so around your table? table? That's a question you need to ask yourself. Uh, from us at Nobo TV, my name is Noba Rize and my guest is Mrs. Victoria Chukura and Mr. Augustine Omido. Mm. Don't forget to like, share and comment. From all our nobles TV, we're we'll going to see you in the next episode. Thank you.